Widespread media coverage of Japan is being watched by millions around the world. High-tech images from the country have been taking global audiences to the heart of the disaster zone as the catastrophic events unfolded. But as RT's Ganich Chikian reports, when the cameras aren't around, it can be a very different story. Images that shook the world. Tragedy live 24-7. Leading news outlets deployed their best journalists to cover the disaster in Japan, and the hearts of billions of viewers worldwide have gone out to those Japanese who fell victim to the earthquake and deadly tsunami. What makes great television is images that make the viewers sympathize and feel the tragedy of the people caught up in a natural disaster. But when there is a lack of such images streaming live from all screens, the sorrow of millions can go almost unnoticed. Let's look back at the earth earthquake in Pakistan. It killed more than 75,000 people in 2005. While the world's media did notice the tragedy, the coverage was nothing as intense as we're seeing now in Japan. Some in the business say Japan being a high-tech country means coverage is assured, whereas less developed nations like Pakistan get much less media attention. The world probably got less of the story in some of those other countries because they don't have, they didn't have the technology, they didn't have the cameras that were right there like they were in Japan. From different, dozens of different angles, you saw the waves coming in, which is the kind of footage in our business. Unfortunately, that is the dream to be able to get that kind of footage. And you don't get that in some of the other third world countries. You just see the aftermath. The shots of the aftermath of a cyclone that hit Myanmar three years ago are horrifying. More than 138,000 people were killed. The government of Myanmar limited access to foreign journalists and there were no live pictures from the disaster zone. And, as it happens in the news business, very quickly, the story died down. If there is a disaster in the middle of Africa, in sub-Saharan Africa, obviously you won't have the same kind of images that you have from Japan, where TV is a 24-7 operation. That's why this tsunami in Japan is so huge in terms of uh, worldwide coverage, because there are cameras absolutely everywhere in Japan. If this was in China, I would say Western China, for instance, you have probably one-tenth of the coverage, because the images are not there. The earthquake in the Sichuan province in China killed around 68,000 people. And again, the coverage was limited, and so therefore was world interest in the disaster there. Human tragedy, whether in Japan or China or Chile, deserves world sympathy. But more often than not, the attention span of world news channels depends on which tragedy makes better television. I'm going to check on reporting from Washington, RT.